Mauricio Pochettino wants the job at Old Trafford, Mark. Any truth in this? Well, I think it sounds to me that Mauricio Pochettino was speaking in Argentina last night, talking about how he's keen to get back into management very quickly in Europe. He doesn't need a break. He's young. He said he doesn't need to recharge his batteries. Now, I take that for him to say there's a lot of clubs out there at the moment. Arsenal, Bayern Munich without a coach. Real Madrid constantly linked with a new coach. United constantly linked with a new coach. He's just telling people that don't hang around. Um, I'm there, I'm ready and waiting. So United haven't got a vacancy right now, but I think you know, as re if results continue to go poorly, they might have a vacancy soon. Um, but Pochettino wouldn't just hold himself out for United. I think that there probably are better jobs out there right now than Man United, by Munich being one. It's debatable whether Arsenal's a better job right now, but it's probably on a par. You have to question whether Man United is a good job, you know, considering that they haven't had the consistency of recruitment, of results, of anything since Sir Alex Ferguson left in 2013. So if, if I'm Richard Pochettino, I wouldn't put United at the top of my list. I think that it's a big club, somebody will get it right eventually, but whether the conditions right now are in place to get it right now, I don't know. I think I think he might be wise to uh, put his ambitions to a different club somewhere else. Uh, let's talk a little more about United in the latest edition of the Gab and Jules uh, podcast. They uh, discussed at length a certain quote uh, that Ed Woodward gave uh, to United. Uh, we stand the uh, Manchester United fans in. It's what he said. It's hard enough to get three players done in a transfer window. To get six or seven done is extremely difficult. It's a multi-year squad evolution analysis. Uh, this was the reaction from Julian to that. What is your job, Ed Woodward, right now at this club? Your job is to plan ahead. How long have you been in that job? Six many years. years. Many years. What have you been doing all those years that you get to a point in 2019, in December, saying, do you know what? We need another few years to really get this squad competitive. This is your job. Your job is to plan ahead. Yes, of course, it's difficult to sign well, eight why... quality players in one transfer window, especially if you think about it in January because you only have one month. If you do, if you actually plan it well, you don't need seven or eight in one transfer window. You can do two or three because you've planned ahead and you've prepared for it and you're well organized and you know exactly how to spend your money, when, on which players, most importantly, and not just do crazy things like Marcus Rojo and those people. <laughs> it's just, oh, it, it really, really, bug, it really annoys me. And it's not even my club. Has he got a point, Mark? He does, yeah. It, it's, it's wearing very thin now, the, uh, the Man United Ed Woodward excuse that they need time. It's the, the phrase that we keep hearing at the moment is cultural reboot. Well, you know, it's been six and a half years since Alex Ferguson left and Ed Woodward has been there throughout that time. You know, managers have changed, players have changed, but Ed Woodward remains the guy that calls the shots. And, uh, you know, you can't, you can't say six and a half years on that we need time to draw up a list in this evolution of the squad. Well, the evolution of the squad at United is so, is so you know, pronounced that Phil Jones is still there. And he's been there since, you know, I don't know, since 2011, 2012. What is the evolution there if Phil Jones, who, as we've seen, is no longer up to it at United, that he's still there? So there hasn't been a lot of evolution. There's been a lot of bad buys, a lot of mistakes which leads us to the situation we're in now with a, a severely imbalanced squad without a decent midfielder you'd hang your hat on without you know, a, a senior goal scorer. It's, why is it taking six and a half years for people at United to wake up and smell the coffee as they say that this squad isn't good enough? So same people in charge, same people making decisions, so I don't think it'll change while that remains the case. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.